Hello guys, uh, welcome to Tech Design. Please subscribe to my channel for regular updates on uh, any graphics tutorials. In previous tutorials, I have explained you how to create uh, points and uh, datum planes. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a sketch. Sketch is a very basic uh, command which can be used for uh, modeling purpose. So here is the sketch command. You can go to here and click on sketch the sketcher window will appear so you need to select any of the plane either a coordinate system or else you can able to create it on any plane i will just create one datum plane at a distance of 50 mm from the reference so i will just reverse the direction click ok so even if we, you want you can able to create a sketch on as well so go to sketch select this plane and click ok this will take you to the sketcher environment you can see this commands are sketcher environment i will explain each and every command in this tutorial so the first is profile profile is a combination of lines and arcs so you can see that the line which comes and also the continuation will become to arc if you want arc you can create it and a line as well so guys you can notice that the dimensions are coming here so if you want you can keep the dimension as it is or else if you want to delete it you can delete it i'll just show you how to remove the auto dimensioning i'll finish the sketch I will just delete this sketch existing. Go to File, Preferences, and Sketch. Here you can see that continuous auto dimensioning. Please switch off this so that the dimension will not appear in the next sketch. So I'll just select the sketch, and in this datum plane, I will create a sketch. So now we are in inside the sketcher environment. These are the commands. Go to Profile this is combination of lines and arcs and you can see that the dimensions are no no more appearing so it is disabled <laughs> the next is the rectangle rectangle can be created by using a three method the first method is by diagonal points the first point and the second point this is how you can create a rectangle or else the second point is by three points the first point and the second point and the third point the other method is by center point so if you want to make this point as a center of the rectangle you can go ahead with a third method and first you need to give the center point and extend it along x direction and y direction you can see that this point will become a center point for the rectangle so the next we will see that line line is as simple as that you can give two points to make a line the next we will move on to arc arc is having a two methods so by three points you can create an arc by three points the first point and the second point this is the third point the arc will be created you can notice that all the three points are lying on the arc so this is by three points by two points you can do that by giving a center of the arc so this is my center of the arc and this is the first point this is the second point you can see that the center you need to select at the first so quickly i will delete it okay the next is point you can see that the point is already discussed in my previous tutorial you can go ahead and check it out uh, if the window is appearing here differently you can just click on point dialog box this will be the same dialog box which is which is already discussed in my previous tutorial so next we will move on to chamfer chamfer will remove the the chamfer and fillet both are same but chamfer will remove the corner and it will create an edge for example suppose we have two lines here 
you want to remove this corner and make an edge you can see that the edge is created if you want you can give the distance for 20 hit enter the 20 distance from the x direction and y direction a chamfer will be created or else if you want an asymmetric chamfer suppose from at one distance as 20 another distance as 15 you can able to create it by giving asymmetric <laughs> you can see that this is asymmetric you can give the dimensions here 20 and 15 so the chamfer is created and in the similar way the fillet fillet will create an arc where the corner is existing you can see that the here the corner is existing but it creates an arc with a radius of 10 if you want you can give a 10 or else if you can give your customized value so this is all about the chamfer and fillet so next we will move on to uh, what is this yeah quick trim quick trim is as simple as that if you want to trim the line you can easily select the lines to trim for example if you have a lines like this you want to trim the extended portion you can able to trim it and the next we will go on to extend extend will be opposite to the quick trim the trim will remove the lines whereas extend will extend the line up to the next interx section sorry intersection so suppose you have the line here and the next intersection will be here so if you want to extend select uh, extend command or else the shortcut is e press e and select this line you can see that it will be extended to the next line so click ok and it will be extended for example if you select the this line you will not see that it will not extend because there is no intersection appears for this line suppose if you have any intersection line here you can see that there is an intersection line press e now it, you can able to extend it up to the next line so this is all about the extend whereas the make corner make corner is very 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 useful command i'll just explain you that so make command will act both as quick trim and quick extend i will show you how is that so suppose there is a corner here if you want to remove this extended portion and you want this corner to be retained as it is so go to make corner so this line this line you can see that it is trimmed the extended portion suppose for example you have another line here so this you want to extend up to the next line and you want to trim the extended portion you can use the make corner as i said you it will act both as quick extend and quick trim so it trimmed the extended portion and it extended this line up to the intersection though this is very very useful command uh, guys you can able to use it in nx okay the next commands are uh, not useful i will just uh, move on to the next uh, that is uh, offset move curve and uh, okay guys come to here offset curve these are not useful much if you want you can uh, comment in the below box i will make a video for that now i will just move on to offset curve offset curve is as simple as that it, as the name suggests it will offset the curves so you can select the curve and you can give the distance of offset 10 mm so it will be offset to 10 mm click ok the offset curve will be developed so here one thing i just wanted to tell you the trick suppose this is my offset curve the outer one and the inner one is the base or apparent curve suppose 
in case if you want to delete the parent curve in such a cases you need to delete this constraint offset constraint otherwise the child curve will be deleted you can see that i will delete this line you can see that the child curve is deleted control z so first you need to delete the offset constraint then you need to delete this so that your child line remains same and you need to constrain these lines again so this is one of the best trick guys next we will move on to pattern curve so go to pattern curve here you have uh, two options that is linear pattern and uh, circular pattern i'll explain each and everything for you so select a curve i want this curve okay linear along which direction you want to pattern it you can give any direction i will give this direction along uh, x axis and what is a count and what is a pitch so count is number of instances you need a curve suppose i need five instances so you can see that five curves are developed and what is the pitch pitch is the distance between the two curves so i will give 100 you can see that each for each curve there will be a 100 mm of pitch and the count are five you can see that five counts are available so if you want to make it in another direction click on use direction 2 in the similar way you can do it for the other direction so you can see that five counts along pitch 100 okay guys you can see that in the both direction click ok both direction the curve is patterned this is also similar to the offset curve if you want to delete the parent one you need to delete this rectangular pattern constraint after deleting this you can able to delete this otherwise your child curve will be gone so control z the next is circular pattern we'll move on to pattern and we will select a circular pattern this is very useful for uh, the regularly used uh, command i'll select this curve specify a point a point along which it will be rotated along this point you can see that count i need only five counts and what is the pitch pitch is what the distance between the two curves that is i will give 50 degree okay yeah 50 degree click okay you can see that the curve is pattern this is too clumsy i'll just delete this otherwise you can ab not able to see okay this curve is pattern along this so here is the circular pattern constraint if you want you can delete it this is all about uh, circular pattern and rectangular pattern that is very useful guys uh, the next is a mirror curve simple as that so select this to this curve and along the center line if you want to pattern it you can pattern it i will delete the other extra things okay so i will pattern i will uh, just mirror this curves select mirror curve select the curve which you want to mirror you can see that when you select the curve it will be selected continuously if you want to only select only one line you need to filter it i'll show you mirror curve filter here with a single curve so it will be selected single curve if you want you can select any of the single curves center line my y axis is the center line you can see that it will be mirrored so this is all about the mirror command guys okay let's delete this uh yeah okay the next is um, intersection point for intersection point it is uh, i'll show you in the other sketch for all these commands you need another sketch with another plane so i will show you for 
this okay guys okay so um, now what i will do is i will just finish the sketch and i will just extrude this along any direction okay this will be connected curves okay it will be extruded i'll give a symmetric value of uh, 200 and click okay okay guys yeah so now <laughs> what we want click on a sketch and select this sketch click okay. you can see that my sketcher plane is one which is highlighted with a blue color is it blue okay fine yeah now i'll go to this and intersection curve suppose you can see that this extruded curve is intersection intersecting with this plane which is my egg sketcher plane so if you want that curve you can select this surface you can see that intersection line is created you can see that similarly at this section this is about intersection curve and the other thing is project so for example project i will take another plane sketch this plane okay you can see that this is my sketcher plane so i want to project the edge of this line edge of this extrude on this plane for that you can use project select the edge if you want this edge you can select this edge as well oh, and also this edge so three curves i have selected i want this to be projected on my sketcher plane click ok it will be projected so this is all about the project curve so this is all about the sketcher guys uh, in the next video i'll be explaining you giving a rapid dimensioning and even constraint please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel thank you